Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to work on a wall stencil in my master bathroom. We are going to do this accent wall here behind my vanity and I am very excited to try this. I have never used a wall stencil before. I thought about doing the peel and stick wallpaper. Here's my little helper. She was very excited to help me today and she loves playing on that step stool. So I think that's really why she wanted to help. <laughs> but anyway, we are going to be doing this wall here and I did order this off of cutting edge stencils. I already removed everything as you can see here. I piled everything in the shower just to get it off this wall. Um, but I did order the larger stencil from Cutting Edge, and I also am going to use a drop cloth. I got this adhesive spray, some painter's tape, and just a foam rolling kit. <laughs> Um, from Home Depot, I believe I got that from. This is the wall stencil that I ordered. I thought about doing peel and stick wallpaper and decided I really wanted to try a stencil. I did, like I said earlier, order this larger stencil. I know it's a smaller wall, but I really wanted to see how this would work and how I could really cut it down for the, the edges. So first I am going to start off with just wiping down the wall. I did go ahead and after I dusted it here, I did do a wet wipe down as well um, just to make sure that there wasn't anything that was going to get in the way of that stencil. And because I wanted to use that adhesive spray on the stencil to really make sure I got a good um, tight seal on it so there wasn't any seepage um, so I wouldn't have any blurs around the corners, um, I really wanted to make sure that this was really clean. So here in my daughter's bedroom, I laid down the drop cloth and put the stencil on that. Um, this is where I am going to use that adhesive spray. So here you can see me spraying it down. I didn't really know how much to use at first. Um, I've used this on other craft projects, but never on a wall stencil. So I'm just going to shake it up and give it a generous spray. I didn't use a lot of it, but I did want to make sure that it was fully covered just because of all the little flower petals and the detail in this stencil. I really wanted to make sure that it really stuck on the wall good um, so that I would have a tight fit. So again, I wouldn't have any of the, the blur effect um, of any um, seepage through the outside of the stencil. So now I am going to just start in the corner. I, I almost started in the middle and I just thought I'm going to start in the corner, work my way over. And that way on the other end of the bathroom where that um, floating shelf and everything is, if I mess anything up on the seams over there or anything else, it's going to be a lot easier to fix and a lot easier to hide at that point um, than it would be on this focal point. Like right when you walk in the bathroom, this is the area and the seam that you would see. Um, so that was my thought process behind it. You do what works for you in your renovations, um, in your bathrooms, or whatever area you're working in. Um, just try to be mindful of that thought process. Um, I wasn't sure if I would need the painter's tape or not. In other videos that I had watched online of people using these stencils, that is what they use to hold the stencil on the wall. Um, now maybe I used a lot more adhesive spray <laughs> with mine and so it stuck really well, um, but it was perfect. It stuck to the wall. It did not peel anything off. Um, it just made it the perfect tackiness. I did go ahead and put the painter's tape on the edges here just to make sure um, you can see my little helper trying to help me with her toothbrush there um, she loves brushing her teeth um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that foam foam rolling brush and a lot of the videos that I watched just said to really make sure that you don't have a ton of paint on your roller so I'm going to work all of the bubbles out here, make sure that it's completely flat against the wall, that there's no issues. Um, again, I wanted to start on this area because it was going to be a flat surface where I didn't have to go around anything at first, just until after I got the hang of it. So I have a couple 
paper towels here um, that I just layered on top of each other so that the paint wouldn't seep through onto my vanity. Um, but it is a quartz counter, so I knew it would wipe, wipe right off if I did get it on it. Um, so I'm just going to roll the excess paint off the roller onto the paper towel. So that way, when I push down to actually do the stencil, that it won't, um, it'll be less likely to seep through those if there are any areas that didn't stick to the wall very well. So now I am going to zoom you in a little bit here in a minute um, so that you can really see the details. Um, I am not pressing hard at all. Um, I really am focusing on just making sure that the paint coverage is the same throughout um, so that way I am not going to get any seepage that's really what I'm worried about with this stencil I have done a lot of wallpapering um, regular wallpaper the peel and stick wallpaper I have done a lot of that in the past and I I have nothing against wallpaper this is just something new that I wanted to try um, see what I could do um, on the stencil itself when I ordered that it showed a lot of different colors with the stencil I didn't want to do that for my taste um, just because in my bathroom I didn't want all that color I already had the pink walls um, I just wanted a little something extra but with that extra I also wanted to kind of dim it down as well um, the pink is very pink in my bathroom um, I do not want I did not want any more bold, um, to put it lightly. I wanted just something a little bit more to add to the wall and to kind of tone down the pink a little bit. Um, so here's where I zoom in, where you can see exactly how I'm doing it. You can tell I am not pressing hard at all. I'm just going over it in a very thin, light layer. Um, I will let that layer dry a little bit, and then I'm going to go in with a second coat. Um, just because I really wanted that paint to not seep through but I wanted to peel that stencil off while the paint was still a little wet I did not want that paint to dry and then try to peel the stencil because when you do that a lot of times you are going to peel that paint as well um, it's going to stick to the stencil and the wall and when you take that stencil off it's going to peel the paint right off the wall um, so that's going to happen to the edges I did not want that to happen so I really wanted to make sure that I had time to dedicate to this before I started this project I did not want it to be something where I was in a hurry or rushed or anything like that I really wanted to take my time with it and make sure that it turned out really well so now I am going to speed you up so that you can see how the process goes. Um, I'm going to try to record painting the whole wall. Um, I do have one battery charging. It was completely dead, and this one is not fully charged. So I'm going to see how long it'll last. Hopefully it'll get to some of the edges at least, so that way we can um, look at those and you can see how I did those a little bit.
see that it came out perfect. I am so happy with the way this is turning out. I am pumped that there is no bleeding that I can see. Um, now I am trying to figure out what is going to be the best pattern to go for. Um, so now that I know kind of how the stenciling is going to work, how I need to spray it, um, all of that. Now I'm just kind of trying to lay out a pattern and to see how it um, how it repeats itself. Um, I kind of knew this going into it and how I wanted to do it, but now that it's actually up there and being done, um, I really wanted to play with it. So what I ended up doing was just going straight across. Um, I found this to be the easiest way to repeat the pattern with how this um, specific stencil is. Every stencil is going to be a little bit different. So you just need to see how it lines up, how it repeats, what obstacles you have on your wall, and how exactly it is going to work in that space. Um, so just kind of have a little bit of that planned out. Um, you can definitely go with the flow with this and just see how it goes. Um, there are going to be ways that are going to be easier than others, and that's kind of what I was going for. Um, I didn't want to make it too difficult on, my, on myself with being such a small wall, um, but I also wanted to make sure that I was... I was lining up the pattern and everything was even and all of that. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. Um, I did wait for that first stencil. After I took it off, I did give it a few minutes um, just to make sure that that paint was halfway dry before I stuck this stencil back on. I did not recoat the stencil with the adhesive spray after every single coat. Um, I did it probably every three to four stencils in between three and four maybe um, just to, to get it a little bit tackier. Um, but that adhesive spray did work really well and it did last very well throughout. Um, so I definitely do recommend doing that. It did, it did help a lot um, in my opinion. Um, I also wanted to say that I did go ahead and use the painter's tape, um, especially around this board that my mirror hangs on. Um, I did use that um, to make sure that the stencil was going to stay around it and in the spot that I wanted it to because I did paint some of it and then I moved the stencil a little bit to go flat in other areas and then I painted those. So you can see here that I'm just going in with the part that is attached to the wall that is that is suctioned down to the wall, um, adhered to the wall, whatever you want to call it. Um, I did start on that and then as you can see by the glare on the stencil over by where the board is, um, it is not down on the wall. Um, so I did kind of move it around. It was very easy to do. Um, but again, that stencil does overlap a little bit. So you do want to be careful and make sure that that first um, stencil area that you did is part way dry or mostly dry before you go on to your next area because it does overlap a little bit because of the pattern overlapping. Um, so I didn't want that adhesive spray to stick to that white paint and then the next time that I go to stick it down it gets the white paint all over the wall because it had stuck to it because it was still too wet. Um, so just keep that in mind as you're doing it. Um, but this did turn out awesome. I am going to go ahead and speed you back up so that we can get through the wall. Um, you'll kind to see how I go around the obstacles and, and different things that I do. But overall, this was a great experience. I love doing this. I thought it was fun to do. Um, it was just something a little bit different. It wasn't something I had I had previously done before. Um, I would definitely do it again in another space. Um, I'm excited to try other patterns to do it or other stencils to use it on. Um, this was very detailed, um, so I'm glad I started with this just to, to get my feet wet. Um, and just with the one color instead of going in with multiple colors, um, that would make it a little bit more difficult as well. Um, so I was glad to get this, get this done. It was a project I got knocked off my list, um, and I think it turned out amazing. So stay tuned till the end of the video so you can see the end results.
And that is where my battery died. <laughs> um, the other one was not charged enough yet to use that one. So here are the end results. I think it turned out fabulous. I think it looks amazing. It was easy to do. Um, I definitely recommend cutting edge stencils. They were great to work with. The stencil was amazing. Um, overall, I would definitely do this project again. Um, I can't wait to pick out another stencil and do a different room in the house. Um, again, I 100% recommend this. It it just it, it was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Um, don't get overwhelmed. Do your research and just have fun with it. Thanks for hanging out with me, Claire, to the end. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.